Okay, this will be the final money talk segment of 2022. It's true, I got a little vacation. And we need to talk about year end tax tips and then preparing yourself for 2023. What can you at home do right now to save some money and to improve your tax responsibility for tax season that's coming up next spring? So here we go one more time the final money talks of 2022. It's only money. First of all, and to kick things off, certified financial planner Neil Vinoy says be careful when buying a new mutual fund. You want to be careful when buying a new mutual fund towards the end of the year because the IRS doesn't care how long you've held it. If you buy a mutual fund right before it distributes dividends or capital gains, you're going to owe taxes. So look for any large distributions before you buy that fund. And keep in mind that when a mutual fund pays a distribution, the share price drops by that exact amount. So you can buy it the next day without having to pay that big tax bill. Your federal tax return allows you to write off up to $10,000 in property taxes. So maybe this is the year to double up and maximize that write off for 2022. Your property tax payment didn't do until the end of January, but you can go ahead and pay it in 2022 if you want to take the tax deduction this year, or if you think you'll be in a higher tax bracket in 2023, you can wait, pay in January, and then prepay your 2024 tax bill before the end of next year. That way you can deduct two property tax bills in the same calendar year. And remember, you can write off the interest you pay on your home mortgage. So why not make it 13 payments in 2022? Pay your January mortgage payment before the end of 2022. You can increase your mortgage deduction by the amount of interest that was in that payment. And here at the end of the year, it's always a good idea to fully review your portfolio. Now's a good time to review your investment portfolio. If you have an investment that's worth less than you paid, it might make sense to sell it and realize that loss. You can offset that loss against gains, and any excess loss can be carried forward into future years until you use it up. And finally, if you've made enough this year to be in the tax bracket that you'd prepared for, maybe collect some of the end of the year profits you are owed in 2023. If you're a business owner and you use the cash method of accounting, it might make sense to postpone sending an invoice to someone you do work for in December. If you receive that income in January next year, then you can claim it on next year's taxes and keep your income a little lower for 2022. And just to mention now, the IRS has not yet announced when it will start accepting tax returns in 2023, which is right around the corner. A reminder that April 15th is on a Saturday next year. Monday, April 17th is Emancipation Day. So the deadline to file gets moved now to the next business day. Tuesday, April 18th of 2023 will be next year's tax deadline.